Hey everybody, I'm Sergeant Carla Burr and um, I'm going to read this book today called The Sky's the Limit. And what I uh, liked about this book was that it gave, it talks about just anything, anything is possible if you set your mind to it. And I know right now we're all being stuck inside and probably same thing every day, trying to be creative, coming up with new ideas. And uh, what I thought was really great about this book was there's some really cool, simple things that you can do finding around your house that maybe you've done, but maybe you could try it in a little bit different way and make it a little bit um, more interesting. So I thought this would be perfect thing to read um, and maybe give some of you kids an idea to try something either with your siblings or with uh, fam other family members, mom, dad, grandparents, whoever's there in the house with you um, or by yourself. Uh, just get out there in your front yard or in your bedroom or somewhere right there by your house or if you have to go to the park or something, but uh, try something new today. And uh, I hope you have a fantastic day. Stay safe and um, hang in there. We're gonna get through this together. The Sky is the Limit, a celebration of all the things that you can do. Lisa Swirling and Ralph Lazar. A world full of wonder is waiting for you. The sky is the limit of what you can do. There's lots of pictures too, so we'll have to we'll have to look through those as well. A wonderful world is waiting just for you. The sky is the limit of what you can do. There are roads to be traveled. and dreams to unfold. Magic to conjure and tales to be told. Cakes to be gobbled, yum yum, and spoons to be licked. Cupboards to hide in and friends to be tricked. There's feet to be tickled and backs to be scratched, maps to be followed and plans to be hatched. How exciting. Bikes to be ridden and fences to mend. Fortunes to squirrel and fortunes to spend. Trees to be clambered and bubbles to pop, lakes to be dived in and bellies to flop. Costumes to dazzle and parties to throw. Rainstorms to run in and flowers to grow. Teams to be a part of, and trophies to shine. Beans to be planted, and beanstalks to climb. There's knots to untangle, and boats to be sailed. Hills to be rolled down. and peaks to be scaled. Causes to work for and letters to write. Stars to sleep under, friends to hold tight. Lives to imagine and hands to be held. Poems to whisper and songs to be yelled. Lessons to, to learn and books to be read, each holding a glimpse of what lies ahead. On land and by air and in dreams that come true, with blue, sky, 
blue skies and sunshine. This world awaits you. And that's the end. So I know some of those things are also things that we can't do right now, like um, having parties with large groups of people all together. And, and some of the other things, like maybe uh, it's not possible to go to some lakes if they're parks and, and uh, long ways away where we have to stay in. But you can use your imagination. Maybe you have a um, pool in your backyard, or maybe you have... Um, a group of friends that you can all meet in your cars or meet in your front yards and, and yell at each other down the street. But there's all kinds of things that you can do to still use your imagination and see what's possible and get some joy during this time of, of unsurety and um, uncertainty. And all we're trying to do with these books and with um, talking to you guys every day is just let you know that we're here with you in the community and we love you and um, we hope that um, things are that people are well and uh, we just want you guys to take care of yourselves and um, I hope you have a fantastic day thank you for listening to my story